me, but the inside of Plasma Rays reminds me of our Tomorrowland Terrace, but with the roof over it, right? Like it has that same like octagon vibe. Uh, yeah, I've never actually been in this. I've never eaten here. Yeah. This one is the one that has like the rice, egg, roll, egg dishes and stuff. So yeah, I think they have the alien emoji here. We're gonna go check it out. Okay, so we just got our stuff at Plasma Rays. Mm -hmm. We got the sparkling cocktail, and he said make sure to stir it. I have not yet. Yes. This is a uh, passion fruit liqueur and peach. peach. Sorry, it's really windy, so I apologize if you like hear nothing but like fuzziness. We got the Fanta melon soda, and then we each <laughs> got our green alien mochi. Yay! I'm so excited to try these. Yeah, so do you want it mystery flavor or do you want to try to look at the bottom before you take a bite? Um, I'll just mystery flavor. Okay, you go ahead and start. Let's see. Alright. I already know. I already look. I look. I'm sorry. Wow. But look how cute they are. Oh, so so cute. spongy. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, strawberries. Mmm. It's like chocolate pudding. Mm. Yours is probably like, I always describe it as like Dan and strawberry yogurt. Yeah. Well, that's good. To me, I like the chocolate, but it's a little rich. I like the strawberry and the custard the most. Oh, I don't know what this one is. I can't really see. This one looks like maybe chocolate. <laughs> Sorry, the wind is like freaked up super duper. Mm. Mm. Strawberry. Oh my gosh. Mm. Chocolate. It's so good. Mm. Chocolate's like a chocolate pudding. Very thick though. It's dense. Mm -hmm. All right, last but not least, obviously by... Wait, is yours gonna be cut through too at yeah. the end? Yeah! Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. Strawberry mm. wins though. Strawberry is very good. Is that one your favorite? Yeah. Probably strawberry, chocolate, and then this one. Yeah, strawberry is so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a little custard. Mm -hmm. so it's not, it's kind of like what you get in like a, like a Boston cream donut. Mm -hmm. Similar to that, and maybe not as dense mm. and not as sweet, but mm. all right. So this one has like sparkles in it. I, you won't be able to capture it on camera, I don't think. It's like little blue and white sparkly stuff in it. Yeah. So this is one of the special anniversary drinks. Um, it does contain alcohol, so just heads up. But this one I think was only 750 yen, so that's like 550 or six dollars for mm -hmm. an alcoholic beverage, which would cost probably 12 to 15 dollars at Disney World. Yep. Let's be honest, right? <laughs> okay. I hope I'm stirring it up good enough. Okay. Oh, there's like little pieces of stuff in it. I think that's I the like, glitter. Well, no, there's like mochi in, or something oh, at the bottom or fruit. I'm not sure. Mm. You can kind of see like peach, stir it. Peach things. Oh, yeah, maybe it is little peaches. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's peach. It's fruit. Oh, wow. Good. It's really good. It does sound refreshing. That's actually way more refreshing than I thought it was going to be. Wow, that is good. That's really good. Yeah, I'm so glad I got it. And you guys already saw us, uh, if you watched the previous vlog, saw us try the melon soda. But we do have the Phantom Melon Soda. It's really, really good. We decided to make a pit stop to the refreshment station because they have the potato churros here. And the line is normally like super long, but literally it's only on maybe like 10 people to eat. Like, usually I've seen it go way back there. Are you excited for a yeah. potato churro? I'm hungry. I think they've changed the recipe since I got it like five years ago, so I'm kind of excited to give it a shot too. I'm excited to try it. Yay! Ooh, I see them in there. Yummy, yummy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yay! Go, break left. There's some benches underneath here, underneath. Skirt! Like benches over here. Are you ready for some potato? Oh, it smells so good. Delicious. Let me smell. It's really hot too. All right, I'll let you try first. Okay, let me try. What do you think? It's different, right? It wasn't the texture you were thinking, right? <laughs> it um, it tastes like um, home fries. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. a, uh, like a yeah. restaurant. Yeah, like a yeah. restaurant. Yeah. And there's That's like really a demi glaze good. sauce in it now. It's like, yeah, it's got a little bit in there. It. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Yeah, so it didn't used to have like a demi glaze sauce. It used to just be like the soft potato inside. 
I wish it would focus, but you get the idea. You can see it's dark inside. So I'm gonna give it a try too. Mmm. See, it's way better than it used to be when it didn't have that inside. Good. That's good. I was kind of craving something savory too. Oh no, here, just don't eat the paper. Wait, I promise we are gonna go to Bound Love Biscotti's next. But we saw this and there's no line, so you gotta take advantage when you see no line for food stands here at Tokyo Disney. Now there's a line at like 10 people. Yep, so we had good timing. Time to head into Mama Biscotti's. I think we're gonna get the tiramisu donut. I said the tiramisu donut. It looks like they also have that brioche bun that the orange cream, but I think we're gonna get it at another time. But for now, we're gonna get the tiramisu donut, maybe the Mike Melon bread, I think. I don't know, they do have some of the snacks that are here in the case. So I don't know. We're definitely gonna get some cafe lattes for sure. So they have the Mike's Melon bread with custard filling right now. They have a mayonnaise chicken danish. That's gonna be the one back there. And they have a beef and puff pastry with porcini accent. Never had that. But I think we changed our minds. I think we're gonna get this one, the coffee tapioca latte. Ooh. It's so humid outside. So it's not rainy. Yay! Did. Yeah, sorry, is the light really bad here? No, it's not light. There's just people. Oh, okay, okay, good. All right, so we got the tiramisu donut here. Mm -hmm. It looks so pretty. They didn't have a knife, but they had forks, but I don't know if I'm just gonna go right in and bite into it, but look, you can see there's like tiramisu inside. That looks really good. Yeah. Hopefully I can get a nice big bite here. Let's see. That's a big bite. Oh my gosh. It's so soft and good. Is it even in the ears? Yep, I got a good oh, bite. Oh, good, it. nice. It is so refreshing and soft. I was thinking the donut was gonna be dense probably, but it's like a Krispy Kreme donut. It's so good. Tasty. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me try the Mike Melon bread. I haven't had it since I changed it. It's the Mike Melon bread with custard now. I know, we have to make sure this little bird doesn't eat our food. He keeps going to the table. <laughs> no, I might oh, I feel guilty like biting into it. There's a little Mike Melon bread. Mike Wazowski. Yeah, let's see what the middle looks like. Ooh. Yeah, you can see the custard inside. That looks delicious. So my question is, is it custard flavored or is it melon flavored custard, right? I don't know. See. Only tasting will tell. Melon flavored custard. Melon flavored custard. It's so good. Sounds good. I'm so happy with our choices right now. Yeah, we got some good choices. But let's wash it down. We got the coffee tapioca drink, which I had no idea existed. I'm gonna guess we probably have to mix it. I would probably mix it based on. Yeah, I feel like everything here you have to mix, right? Yeah, you gotta <laughs> mix. Everything's good. Literally everything we got is so good. It's really good. You're gonna love it. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is that not like a Krispy Kreme donut though? Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was gonna be very dense and heavy, but that's so light and fluffy and airy, almost buttery. That was a big bite, but that was a worthwhile bite. Right, the tiramisu is so good, and I'm like very picky when it comes to tiramisu, and that is delicious. Mm -hmm. You gonna give that Mike Melon bread a try? Try it. Mm. Isn't that good? Melon it's so much better now with the custard, to be honest. Before it had just like a hint of melon taste to it, but it was just bread, there was nothing inside. Very tasty. So you're gonna love this drink. I know you. You're gonna love it. It's on the sweeter side, but not overly sweet. Not like Starbucks sweet when you get like 10 pumps of <laughs> vanilla. Is that not good? Tasty. Oh my I goodness. Got a tapioca ball too, which is really good. Yeah, they're, everything here, amazing. Coming to Mama Viscotti's. The tiramisu donut is a special for the 40th anniversary, but the Mike Millen pan, that is like a thing that they always have year round. This, I don't know, it could be a special item currently because it's summer and iced uh, tapioca drink, but yeah. I think we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this meal and catch up with you guys in just a few minutes. Target acquired. Hey. We got the sea salt manaka ice cream. It is my favorite dessert here. I will probably have it like five times while we're here. So it's a vanilla ice cream. Well, it's actually like milk ice cream with, I think it's raspberry or strawberry jelly inside, but it has this like wafer on the outside. Let me show you. What's great is since it has the wafer, it doesn't like melt in your hands. Good. I've waited for this for like two and a half years. <laughs> I've been waiting to have this again. I don't know if you can kind of see inside. That is 
It's very rich in filling, that's for sure. And what's great is it's like a firm ice cream. I don't know how to describe it. Like in Florida, if you get an ice cream, it melts immediately. Like the Dole Whip melts immediately, like two seconds after you get it. But this is it's really firm. It's so delicious. Now, did you want to give it a try? Uh, I'll taste it off camera, but okay. yeah. Well, I'm really good with here, but I'm probably going to binge this whole thing. I'll just have a bite. But I highly recommend, there's tons of ice cream stands throughout the park. Sea Salt Monop is the best, but they do have some popsicles and a tiramisu ice cream sandwich. This one's number one. We stopped off at Refresco's, which is over by Magellan's, kind of in like the Leonardo da Vinci area of the Mediterranean Harbor. But this is the violet and gin drink that we got. I haven't stirred it yet, but she said definitely make sure to stir. And then we got the ukiwa bun, which I believe is uh, like a teriyaki chicken and then like a Chinese chicken inside. So we're gonna give that a taste. I'm very excited. I've been looking forward to this one like for months. <laughs> so I heard that the ears are different from the middle. So let's take off one of the ears here. If you're wondering why I'm not on camera, it's because there's a lot of people around me and I do not want to be rude and have like someone's face like right into the camera that doesn't want to be recorded. So this is why we're doing it this way. So this looks like the kind of like a teriyaki chicken in the ears. That looks good. Yeah, here let me, I'm going to take a little bite. You're not going to see me, but believe me, I'm eating it. Mmm. <laughs> that's really good. Kind of like a minced teriyaki chicken. It's very, very good. Nice. Tasty. Eat that bite. <laughs> now let's see what's in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna this over here. Ooh, nice and sticky here. Sorry, I'm like making a mess. Okay. So let's see if I can break this apart without making it look gross. There we go. Oh yeah, there you go. Yeah, so this is I guess like the Chinese seasoned chicken that's inside. It's good. I've heard it's exceptionally tasty, so let's see. Rip off a little piece here. Mmm. Good. Yeah. Looks tasty. It's very delicious. Highly recommend. It's only 750 yen, I believe. So basically six US dollars. So we got it at Refresco's located by Magellan's, but it's also available in the Port Discovery area as well. Yep. If you're looking for the Ukiwa bun and that special gin and violet drink, there's Magellan's. Go to the right. And here is Refresco's. This is where you can find the Ukiwa bun as well as the gin violet drink for the special 40th anniversary edition food. And luckily, because it's rainy, there is some room over here at the tables. It's a little tight pack, so, you know, you're gonna be right on top of each other, but it was delicious, was it not? It was very good. It was so good. Yeah. The ears were better uh, than, I think, the middle. What do you think? Um, I think the ears were definitely better. Yeah. You, you do. Um, the uh, overall now in the end, well, you excited? Yeah, I don't know. I think it's because it was it was really warm on the ears. The middle rain didn't taste as warm, but it was still tasty though. Okay. Yeah. See, it's still now, what do you think you guys would like? Let us know in the comments. Do you think you'd like the ring, or do you think you'd like the ears better? Yeah. It's the ears. <laughs> it might be the ears. They are pretty good. I think we might go get some more snacks now. More snacks. Yay, let's Yay. go, let's go, let's go. Snacks, snacks, snacks. In Mysterious Island, we're heading over to the Nautilus Galley. We're gonna get the gyoza bun, I think, and a gin and kiwi drink here. Yum. We're gonna head into this little cave. We're gonna get that gyoza sausage bun for 600 yen, and then that sparkling cocktail gin and kiwi for 780 yen. Not bad prices. Not bad at all, especially with the exchange rate right now. <laughs> yeah! Here, come on over here. Oh, you want to place it down? Yeah, either way. <laughs> Sorry, I, I screwed it up. Can you please stir it up? Yes, yeah, stir it up. Did we get a one? Ooh, we got our special kiwi and gin drink. Delicious. And our gyoza dog. Yum, 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 yum. You want to give that gyoza dog a try? I do. Just make sure you don't eat the paper. It's got that same paper as the other bun. It is also, it is very, very hot. Very hot. Like, hot, like I like to eat my food hot? Uh, hotter than that. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm going to take a bite of it, but I'm going to take a very ginger bite of it, probably. Try to at least get some meat. What do you think? Really good. I knew you would like it. I can't eat it because it has a lot of onions and I have a slight allergy to onions, but I knew you would love it. <laughs> Even a small bite is really good. Yay! I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Very tasty. Nice. I think we're going to give this kiwi and gin drink a try in just a moment. Yeah. 
Just to give you an idea of what the inside of the gyoza dog looks like, it's kind of like minced pork, I guess. Minced pork, onions, garlic. I'm gonna guess like cabbage or what's the green stuff? Green onion? I thought it was maybe, yeah, onions. Oh, maybe there's green onion, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that is, looks delicious. I'm I'm eating it in spirit. Yeah. So this one is a sparkling kiwi and gin drink, which the violet and gin was amazing, so I'm sure this is gonna be really good. You have to stir these up as well. Tasty. Yeah, it really punches you in the face with kiwi, which I really like. Woo, that is really good. Highly, highly recommend getting this. And I'm sure you recommend getting this Yoda dog as well. Yep, yeah. pretty good. Definitely come here. Yeah, awesome. Well, we're gonna go ahead and finish this up and then head on to our next adventure. Now that the sun's out, it's time for ice cream. Oh my gosh. So I was choosing between these two. And I think I'm gonna get the Mickey ice bar, the tropical fruit, because I've had the peach and raspberry before. We're gonna have this little snack before we go see the show that we won the lottery for. So we decided to go ahead and get a popsicle because it got hot now that the sun is out. I had the uh, peach and raspberry before, so I went with the tropical fruit. Wait till you see how cool it looks. Look at the Mickey! That's pretty cool. Right, it stays pretty darn frozen. Okay. The last one I had a couple years back, peach and raspberry was amazing, so I'm sure this will be too. That's so good. It reminds me of like a Go Whip, but in popsicle form. Oh, that'd be a game changer. It's so icy. Like, it's easy to bite into on like some of our popsicles. Hmm. I'm so happy. That's awesome. I needed this. We decided it was time to take a little break and get this coffee drink because they don't have this at Tokyo Disneyland. And I mean, I tried to research and see if they did, but the tapioca coffee drink, oh my gosh, it's so good. And I got the new seasonal brioche. It's like the orange scented brioche that they have for the 40th anniversary. So I'm gonna cut into this and show y'all what it looks like. Let's see if I can cut into this delicately. They didn't have any plastic uh, knife. Trying to show you what it looks like in the center. Ooh. So you can kind of see it actually more on this side. Let me turn it around. There's where you can see the orange, and like the custard. Mm, looks good. Yeah, I definitely got some napkins because I figured it was going to be messy. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can get a nice bite. Let's see, where's that orange over here? Oh my gosh, it's going to be messy. Good. Mm. Looks tasty. It reminds me of the consistency, like, even more like a Dunkin' Donuts. Like, not Krispy Kreme. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like a Dunkin' Donuts donut. But that orange is like an orange marmalade and that light custard. Ooh, it's good. Sorry, I was watching this bird like a hawk. I'm like, <laughs> they have these tiny little birds that try to eat all this stuff. <laughs> this is delicious. And I'm going to wash it down with that tapioca coffee drink. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Taking a pit stop at the Cafe Orleans because we decided we wanted to try the new Cajun shrimp crepe that they have here. Give you an idea what it looks like. Now, I don't think you can actually see what's inside of it or no? Probably not easily. Uh, just a little sneak peek in there, kind of. Yeah, there you go. Awesome. I'm really excited to give this one a try. They look delicious. It's a savory crepe. right here. So this is the current menu at Cafe Orleans. They have that Cajun shrimp crepe, they have the strawberry pistachio green crepe, they have a dark cherry crepe, and you can also get lattes and coffees here. And yes, <laughs> you didn't miss a scene. I couldn't record uh, me eating the shrimp crepe because of course uh, a live band just like parked it right by your table and started playing like loud music copyrighted. So. Um, it was amazing though. It was really good, right? Yeah, it was Re very tasty. Big shrimp, like there was crunchy stuff in it too. That was really good. Yeah, it's like a, say it's like croutons or something. Yeah. Like, it's just like red pieces. It was chilled. It was 650 yen each, so basically five US dollars. Really, really good snack. I'd give it a shot for sure. So come over to Cafe Orleans for the shrimp crepe. Decided to stop off at the Plaza Pavilion. I have never been here on all my trips. But today they released a new kakigori, so like a shaped ice dish. There's two different ones. I think there's like a strawberry one and a tropical one. It just opened up a few minutes ago and I cannot wait to try it. 
there. That's the new one today. The shaved iced strawberry milk and tropical fruit and orange. They also have like the triple dessert platter you can get here too. But this is what we are here for. Yay, here he comes. Oh my gosh, those are so big. Everyone I've seen walk out has like all had the shaved ice. That's crazy. They seem really good. They're cranking them out back. Man, so this one is the strawberry and milk. And then this one is that tropical fruit. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I can't remember how much were these. Uh, so each one was 700 yen, so 1400 yen. Total. That's not bad. That's, That's not bad. 10 to like 11 US dollars for these giant. I mean, like, look at the size of my hand next to it. This for ten dollars in the US, it would be about half this size. Of yeah, it'd only be one. <laughs> be one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. So, which one do we want to start with? Uh, we'll start with the tropical one. All right, push this one away. We're gonna start with our tropical fruit. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Let's see, do I want to get a little fruit in my bite? Yeah, maybe try to. Oh no, I just oh, spilled it. Gosh. Oh gosh. No. Good thing it's on the tray. Mm. Good. Well, it's so refreshing. I'm so glad today was the day that it got hotter. Yesterday this might be a little too cold to eat. <laughs> I guess it's like little pieces of pineapple. Mm -hmm. And it looks like, um, yeah, what is that? See, passion fruit? I think they're like either passion fruit seeds or, um, I don't know, what's the other one? I know, I can't, I can't think. think of it top of my head. I'm sure if you know it, look, tell me in the comments. There's a black little edible seed. Oh, um, oh, we just had it the other day too, because there's like a bunch of drinks here that have seeds in them, which is like crazy to me. They're not very tasty, but. Mm. Pretty good though. Oh, this is really good. Right now, with the strawberry milk. Mm, mm, mm. I have a feeling I'm gonna really like this one. Mm. Not as tart as I thought it would be. It, it really punches you with the milk. Mm. Not so much the strawberry. Yeah. That's, that is a good amount of milk in there. Yeah, I think if I had to choose my favorite, and if you like something more tart and like more like a traditional snow cone, you're gonna want the tropical one. Uh, the strawberry one is very milk forward. Yeah. And there's a lot of strawberry chunks in there too. Like that. There's like a big Oh yeah. Right there. Mm -hmm. Well, for the price, I highly recommend it, and it's at the Plaza Pavilion. So it's like if you're looking at the castle, it's real close to the castle, just directly to the left of the castle. But make sure you give it a try. I'm not sure how long it's here for. You'd have to look into the app, but it just started on June 1st. I'm sure it's gonna be here for a little bit. Mm -hmm. If you're a coffee connoisseur and you really like a good cup of coffee, don't get the iced coffee. <laughs> don't get with Disney. I'm so sorry if somebody loves the iced coffee, but like it doesn't taste like dense coffee that you put over ice, right? So like it's <laughs> So I'm guessing what it is, you know, it must be just different acidity in the soil for like coffee beans that they're growing here. Yeah. It's just like, it is just... Bless God, you. God bless you. <laughs> um, but uh, I'm guessing whatever it is, is it just, whatever the acidity is, it's just a little different. And it's um, very bitter. But the sweetener they give you too, <laughs> yeah, doesn't so really do much. Yeah, like, they give you um, gum syrup. They were only gonna give me one gum syrup and one creamer for like my small coffee and his large, and I was like, uh, futotsu, please, which is like two more. So, um, it doesn't do anything. But like, when I make iced coffee, usually you make iced coffee denser, so you use a lot more grind to make the iced coffee because then when you're adding ice, it's gonna water it down. But this just tastes like you took some hot brew coffee, stuck it in the fridge, and then like put some ice over it. It's just so bitter. It's very bitter. And it's in, in, again, the sweetener, the gum syrup, and the coffee creamer, yeah. like, I feel like it doesn't do anything. It's, it's just, just a placebo. It's just, yeah, it's just like there. Like, I poured it in, but then I dip my pinky to see what it tastes like, and it like, didn't taste like anything. I was like, it's, I don't understand. It should be at least a little sweet. Yeah. Like creamy, you know. Oh, well, hopefully it'll do its job, though. I need to wake up. But, oh my god, it's so fun just, like, watching people go by as I drink my coffee. Oh, it's so peaceful. I see we have another boat coming by. <laughs> this is awesome. I could stay here all day. We got our creme brulee churro and the sushi roll. Oh my gosh. I guess we'll save the creme brulee churro for last since that's sweet. But I want to try this sushi roll really bad. 
Obviously, it's gonna be chilled because it's a sushi roll. Wow, it's way bigger than I thought. Glad we only got one. So I think it was it chicken. Uh, it was uh, chicken. Ooh, that looks good. Okay, so we got the, the uh, sushi roll here. This seems like massive. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this Very big. Very big, yes. The picture is slightly misleading. Yeah. All right, here we go. Mmm. Good. Tasty. Mmm. Mmm. This is like perfect to avoid that rainy weather out there and just eat a snack. I'm gonna make the best glass half full out of this day. Sorry, that's the the transit with the um what's it called electric railway. Maybe I'll try this real quick. I want to dig into all this food, but this is the curb relay churro, so it's kind of like smaller than your average churro is gonna be, but it's supposed to have like a creme brulee crunchiness on the outside and a creamy inside. Mmm. Does that taste like a, uh, what are the croissant donuts? A cronut. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. I'm so happy with food and to be out of the rain. Yeah. You want to give it a shot? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's good, right? Doesn't it taste like a crew neck, yep. kind of? It's like a crew neck. It's like that light, buttery, flaky taste. Yeah. Target acquired, so we had to go to Dockside Diner because they have this souvenir bottle. You have to get the sparkling drink, which I really didn't want right now, but oh well. That was 600 yen, and then adding this on was 1300 yen, yeah, because this total came to 1900 yen, which is pretty good because you said your bottle that you got the other day. Yeah, I got the um, Tokyo Disney uh, Resort. And that one was 1800 yen, right? It was 1800 if I remember correctly. So for less of a price, you have to buy a drink, obviously. Yeah. For basically 100 yen more, you get a drink and a collectible yeah. bottle, which is a really good deal. Yeah, and I think you can only get this one through like July at some time. But you can get this at the Cape Cod restaurant. You can get this at Miguel's Cantina and at Dockside Diner right now. And it has all the Duffy characters like Lena Bell, Shelly May, Olu Mel, Cookie, Duffy. Oh, here we go. It's take off the plastic. You can see a lot better. Isn't that cute? So I like these because they fit on Coraline's stroller in the little cup holder, the shape. So this will be great for her walks. Hey, thank you for letting me go here, even though it's like 30 mile an hour winds outside right now. <laughs> this is just another day in Florida. Yeah. Basically, but that wind's something else. It's like pushing me yeah. as I walk, but yeah. all in all, it's been a fun experience today. That's for darn sure. Bye, Tokyo Disney. Bye, Tokyo Disney. Bye, we love you.